There we go. And the conditions are such that we could pursue this guy with the deck gun. So we will bear that in mind. For those of you who are not aware of the magic of magnetic torpedoes, they are able to, theoretically at least, detect a magnetic field, such as one produced by the hull of a largely iron comprised ship. And as such, when they detect that field, even though they don't actually physically hit it, they can sense that the magnetism has changed and thus it will explode. And more of the explosion goes into the hull of the ship if it explodes directly beneath it. That's just what some guy told me. I don't know if that's true. Now, I'm a little worried here. I'm going to be very upset if this misses. Because it's a little bit marginal here. We can hear the engine of the, the freighter here. Uh, it looks like we're going to get a hit, but it's not in the spot I wanted it, but that's okay. except the magnetic didn't go off. So, uh, that, uh, whoo, <laughs> that's great. We are going to go back, no, that, that's fine. I'm gonna go back to the scope here and just do it the old fashioned way. Because really? <laughs> oh, there's a ship in sight. Well, thank you, thank you for that. That's helpful. That's great. Was that my conscience telling me that? I mean, I'm the only one looking through the scope, right? So I don't know how that works, but... Let's take a look at the torpedoes. Yeah, I don't want to use that Type 2. Even though it you know, really isn't a bad idea. Uh, I'm not gonna... A little bit further astern, but... Okay, now, let's watch this one. <laughs> watch this one miss! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, where did it go? <laughs> Effing controllers, torpedo follies, which is not a euphemism yet he might be steering he is steering you crazy card look at that yep he definitely saw that other torpedo um, so that means that this one that I just shot at him is probably gonna miss very undisciplined attack I should have assumed Yeah, see, that's going to go well ahead of him, because he's steering. Okay. I should have assumed, though, that he would be going slower, because he probably saw that torpedo. And I just wasted two torpedoes. This is not really a banner patrol for me. But that's okay, because we have other means at our disposal of resolving this situation. I have to actually tell the crew to go on the deck gun, don't I? That would be a good start. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do this. Because I like, I like how he sounds when he says that. To action stations! Mr. Jones! Good shot! Well, that makes everything better. That first shot would have been a hit, but uh, our magnetic didn't go off. And I don't know if it really was because it was a dud. This thing's draft is six and a half meters, and I set it for another meter under that, which I thought was usually safe. 
least it wasn't Silent Hunter 3. I don't know. But there you go. Live and learn. Or don't learn. Oh, there you go. Some secondaries. Very nice. Also very nice, a Borat reference made at the end of 2014. Oh, we're really, really pounding his stern. Golly. Oh. Mixing it up a little bit there. One of my viewers asked if you can see the uh, shell, actually, in the air. I don't think that you can. Wow, my deck gunners are doing a hell of a lot better than they normally do. They're actually hitting the water line. It's amazing. Um, in Silent Hunter 3, though, you could reliably see the shell uh, as it was approaching its target. I don't think you can do that in 5. I think you should theoretically be able to. I've seen footage of artillery shells being fired, and you can see them, but not very well. Let's actually try to... Well, that went right by us, and I didn't see it. Maybe we're using invisible lasers. I don't know how an invisible laser would work. It's supposed to be light, but uh, science, Star Trek, etc. Okay, I, I just am such a miser when it comes to ammo. It, I just can't handle it when I uh, see my men so flagrantly wasting good ammunition. Oh, well, that wasn't a waste, whatever happened there. Sorry, you guys missed it. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Everybody relax. Bring that down a little bit. I actually was trying to adjust the uh, reticle on my gun here by using the arrow keys, but that adjusts the uh, speed of your sub. Fun fact. Oh, <laughs> Nelly! Satisfactory. I enjoyed that. I also enjoyed that to a lesser extent. That's really good commentary, right? This was good, but not as good as the other thing that happened before. Let's see if this is good, too. That wasn't as good. Maybe we'll try to do gooder next time. I give that a 5 out of 10. Which means no one will buy it if it were a game review. Well, some poor sap would buy it. Oh, it's already. Oh, wait. No, it's not dead. We're gonna be relying on the map like a horrible, horrible cheater. I would, you know, just as a civilian observer, think this ship is a billowing plume of flame now. I think it's done. and just let it go. But, apparently, through our amazing technology and or magic, that, you know, same stuff that lets us detect neutral smoke, for instance, um, we've been able to, ooh, we've been able to, yeah, that's a seven out of 10 Metacritic score. What the hell is going on with that? Um, I would think this ship is done, but, wow. I want to know what they were hauling. That is incredible. He's still steering. He's still trying to evade.
Alright, let's uh, go ahead and flank. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the update. I was not aware. A lot of ocean noise there. There you go. Surf's up. Actually, gonna bring it to its minimum range and see what happens. Yeah, I figured. We could go to the, uh, ooh, up close and personal view, I guess. Let's do that again. Let's, let's really get honed in. Nice. Oh, God, more Borat. No. <laughs> it was a flash in the pan. No one's going to remember it. The joke's been on the shelf too long, effing. Torpedo hat das Ziel verfehlt. That almost sounded Italian to me. It's still alive. My god. Let's try some armor piercing rounds. Why not? Shut up. No, he isn't. <laughs> okay. Using more of my technology. Uh, anywhere but here. There you go. Brilliant. Oh, he's dead! Excellent timing! I love it when a plan comes together. That's from a television show. It's from Blossom. Well, that ship was uh, 4,000 tons, I believe. Correct? Yeah, a little bit over 4,000 tons. I missed with two torpedoes, though. So it was not really worth that effort. But what are you going to do? It did explode rather marvelously, though, thanks to our deck gun, so I'm pretty happy about that. Can't complain at all about that. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful. I like what you did there. Show me more of that. Work it. Come on. I would be a terrible photographer. Work it. Come on. Shake what your mama gave you. Etc. Please don't walk out on the session. Okay. Um, we have sunk this ship. I'm just hoping... Somebody's got a riding lawnmower in the air, apparently. That is an Anson. It's a handsome Anson. And, uh, you know what? I am not diving, apparently. Isn't that funny? Look at the depth. You could say that we're out of our depth. So that could have been a complete disaster. Um... That's a thing that the game will do sometime. Just so you guys know out there in TV land. Or fake TV land, I guess, because it's YouTube. Um, you will give commands to the game and it will just be like, um, I'm going to file that under like I give a fuck and deal with that when I get around to it. How about that, player? How's that? Yeah, that's uh, moderately frustrating when it does that. Okay, well, we've got this ship sunk. We somehow didn't get killed. Although that does remind me again of the fact that planes also just don't give a fuck. So this is just kind of a big old game of who gives a fuck. It's a lot of fun. Having a great time. Uh, we're going to continue on our course, I guess. We're actually going to clean this mess up. We're probably going to just head north and east a little bit and uh, see if we can find any other targets that I will hopefully not miss so egregiously. You know, we haven't spoken very much about the, the veritable world war that is occurring um, here in the world, outside of our submarine, and I just wanted to mention this message here. It's an SSS message from the SS Fanad Head, which was sunk by a gentleman whose name you may recall is Captain Fritz Julius Lemp of the U-30. Lemp is quite a guy. He uh, sunk the Athenia earlier, and now he sinks the Fanad Head, sort of. Uh, he manages to um, 
shoot at it with his deck gun, gets it to stop, and sends over a prize crew so that he can get fabulous prizes. Uh, meanwhile, the crew broadcasts this message saying that they're under attack by submarine, and the Ark Royal, the HMS Ark Royal, the uh, aircraft carrier, hears that message and sends um, skuas, which are fleet air arm bombers. And um, the first skua, I think, drops its bombs uh, as the U-30 is right next to uh, the ship and manages to blow itself up. It is too close to the explosion. The, sh the plane blows up. The two crew actually survive. They're brought aboard as prisoners. Uh, the second skua, um, after U-30 dives to avoid any f uh, further air attacks, uh, bombs the wreckage of the first skua and then goes on its merry way, I think. I don't know if that's exactly how it works. Uh, and then the third one shows up after U-30 um, di very diligently still is trying to collect those prizes. Big money, big prizes. I love it. And then it, too, goes in to bomb the U-30 and drops its bombs too close and blows up. Um, finally... I think um, a, a swordfish shows up, launched also from the Ark Royal, manages to scare off the U-30 uh, for a little while. I think U-30 torpedoes the fanhead head, and it does eventually sink, but my god, what an amazing clusterfuck. He, uh, Lemp, manages to get some of his crew injured, and very fatefully decides to drop some of them off in Reykjavik. Those crew end up being the only witnesses to what ends up being a war crime trial against him. Because I think he, he ends up, well, spoiler alert, he ends up dying. For those of you who don't know, by the way, most people who served on U-boats ended up dying. It, it's a horrible, horrible rate of attrition. I actually need to do the math again because it came out the last time I saw somebody mention it to like 93% or something amazing just horrifying if they were actual u-boats that served in combat but i digress um point is is that um these gentlemen that he leaves at reykjavik i think there might have only been three maybe just the one guy i can't remember but in any event uh spills the beans on uh on lemp who was trying to keep it a secret that he had sunk the athenia so it's just a fun little story fun little fun little thing read about it at your local library why don't you i probably should because i don't honestly know a whole lot about u-boat history despite my uh pretensions to playing this game i can't say that i'm an expert but uh i, I like that story because it's just it's just my kind of it's something that i could see myself doing <laughs> let's be honest i'm a big stupid idiot but anyways uh, Lemp was actually a fairly successful commander, but, of course, did do some pretty dumb things. Alright, well, anyways, we're continuing on our course, and uh, I probably won't have any more history lessons for you in the immediate future, but if I think of one, I'll let you know.